What's going on, Hussam? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Sir, um... Our men which have been following Sehan. Well, what happened to them? Don't make me crazy with your mysteries. It appears they were taken down. But, but who got them? Who could have done that to our men, huh? You had one job, you idiots! We don't know what he's after. We also lost track of him. <sighs> What's that bastard up to this time, huh? Um, I know that you're going to get mad. But I told you, sir, we really shouldn't have provoked Sehan like that. Okay, okay, quit rambling and saying I told you so. Go and hire some decent people. Hop to it. And ask around. Find where Sehan is and what he's after. And don't come back until you found that out. You have one job, I swear. Is it too much? Okay, boss. <sighs> Idiots. Do I have to do everything myself? Can't I ever get a moment of peace around this place? I swear to God. What if he doesn't call? What if he's just buying time to escape? He's going to call. He's after me, not after Kubra. Kubra will be all right, you'll see. Really? That's what you believe? What about what happened to Sybil, Yigit? What do you want me to say, man? Huh? You want me to say that he's probably cutting her while we're sitting here doing nothing? Shh. You watch your mouth, brother. You watch your mouth, dear brother. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do after I take him the gun, okay? So don't distract me. Well, what are we gonna do? I'm going to kill him, Amir. <laughs> hey, listen to me carefully. If you do anything that might endanger Cooper's life, I'll kill you before you kill him. I don't want you doing anything stupid, Yigit. Is that clear? What is this? What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Do you think that I don't care about Cooper or something? Huh? Do you think that I would risk her life like that? Huh? I'm not you, brother. What? What the hell have I ever done to risk Cooper's life, if you'd care to tell me? What did you do? Well, you hired some idiot as a bodyguard for her. How could you do oh, that? Okay, here we go now. Here's the Mr. Yigit Killage that we've all been waiting for, huh? Where have you been, huh? Go ahead and blame everyone again, man. Maybe it'll help you relax. If Cooper is in danger, then it's all your fault. You're so stupid, you know that? If you hadn't taken me into custody, then he wouldn't have disappeared like he did. If he's out there, then it's your fault, dear brother. All because of you and your stupid obsession with justice. I did the right thing, brother. You hear me? I did what I had to do as a man. I did the reasonable and lawful thing. Oh, did you? Did you? Yeah, I seem to remember you were the one who stole evidence from the station, brother. Huh? What about all your lawfulness now, huh? Look, man, I need you to get this through your hard head. Laws are broken and twisted whenever it's necessary for them to be so. Look, I know you wanted to be the pride of this family. But you have always been narrow-minded. You've given into rules that other people have made and you blindly follow. But, but I have always made my own rules. Do you hear me? Well, good for you. <laughs> what happened to the game that you made the rules for? How many graves have you dug now? Huh? How many what? You get Sybil's corpse isn't even cold yet. <sighs> you were crying yesterday. Saying that Sybil's death was all your fault. Look. Yes. It was all my fault, all right? I should have shot him down after his first threat. That was my mistake, you hear me? You're not gonna come to your senses, are you? You're the one not coming to your senses. Look, listen to me, okay? This telephone is going to ring soon, and we will be doing this my way, whatever happens, you hear me? And if you try anything behind my back or involve anyone, if I can't get my revenge and honor Sybil, and if you stand in my way even slightly, and if, if Cooper gets hurt in any way... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Huh? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Huh? Yigit, who are you? Who are you to Kubra, Yigit? Is it your job to protect Kubra? But you want to know who I am, right? I am Kubra's husband. Kubra's my responsibility. And it's my job to protect her. And you, you're nobody to her. 
brother. Relif has been crying like crazy. I don't know what's wrong. It's like she feels it. But at least the poor thing's finally asleep right now. Hey, I thought that we were gonna go away to some mountain house or something. But we're just sitting here in your house. Are you sure that we're gonna be safe here? Of course you're gonna be safe. My mother lives in this house. She beat the crap out of anyone with her slippers. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me laugh at a time like this, you idiot. I think that we scared her arriving at this hour. No. My mother doesn't get scared so easily. Look, she was even happy to see you here, you know? Mm. Look at that. Are you the one who's blowing out the candles? That one? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I was in uh, elementary school. Goodness. Oh. You were so funny when you were little. Look how cute you are. <laughs> we were all so young in that photograph. How long ago was this photo taken? Sybil is gone. Cobra's in danger. And the two of us are sitting here doing nothing. You know, I wish we had a magic wand that would take us back to the past so we wouldn't make the same mistakes and everything would be okay. I'd give anything to go back to the past again. To go back to when Sybil was here. But there's no way to go back in time, Daria. The only thing we have is today. There's nothing else. If anything happens to Cobra, I, I won't be able to handle it. She'll be fine. Nothing's going to happen to her. Cobra will come back and we'll take nice photos like this one again. Just don't cry, okay? You want some tea, maybe? That'd be nice. <laughs> then I'll make you some tea, then. Oh, you're gonna make the tea? I'll do it. I don't want to drink your weak tea. 